Hey guys, so this video today is for the guy in my DIY lithium group that blocked me and is asking a question how to fix his cells and nobody has the answer to it and I can't help him because he has me blocked. So I'm going to do this video on YouTube and instead of live streaming it to him like I would for anyone else, I would have just jumped on video chat and helped him out. I can't do that. So everybody gets to learn. But anyways, so this guy flipped his cells. That means he's drained them down to past zero volts. Where they have flipped polarity and this post now reads positive and this post now reads negative. So what you're going to want to do, uh, first let's start with, this is only going to work with LTO cells. I have never heard of this working with any other type of cells. So if you've got Life Epo 4 or C-Max or something like that, it's junk, it's dead, recycle it. So if you have LTO and it's flipped, what you're going to want to do is take a resistor and you're going to want to short this out and get it as close to zero volts as possible. Then when it's at zero volts, you're going to quickly take leads from another battery Say this is hooked up to a good battery somewhere, normally. And you're just going to want to tap the posts on. Just give it a little tap. And watch this with a DMM. If it does not flip, go back to shorting it out. Get it back to zero as close as possible. Tap it. And you might want to do this kind of quick because the cells will go all wonky all by themselves. Once you get it flipped, you're going to want to, you know, make sure it stays negative, positive. And then you're going to want to very, very slowly charge it, like half an amp with power supply. Make sure you got your power supply set right. You know, start as low as possible and just very slowly creep up the voltage. Once you get back up to around normal voltage, Get it to the 2.4 nominal voltage. Let that cell sit. Let it sit for a couple hours. Come back. Check it. See where it's at. Then if it's still okay, charge it the rest of the way. If it drops, like a lot, you probably got a bad cell. If it drops a little bit, that's fine. Charge it back up, check it, make sure it's not like self draining on itself. If the cell is self draining, it's toast and that's that. So I use what we got here 10 watt uh, resistor. So yeah, nothing too crazy. Uh, Old passive crossovers, they have these laying around in them sometimes. Use that. And you're going to want a rock seed power supply, something nice, like this one over here. And then I have the P out in the garage. But I'll link those in the description for you guys. I'll link the batteries in the description. Good place to get LTO. And yeah. If you want help from me, and you want it to be quick, don't block me. I'm a pretty helpful guy. Sometimes. So, thanks for watching.